Hey everyone, how's it going? So it's, what is it today? Wednesday at, I don't know, I can't even see the time. It's gotta be like six o'clock or something. And I was done work at around five-ish, got home, grabbed something to eat, and washed up. And now I'm in the, in the old F-150 here, heading an hour south of the city, going to pick up another mini bike. Yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> Is there like a mini bikes and go-karts anonymous or something I could join? I don't know. I was just working today and it was slow and as I often do when I have nothing to do, I surf the internet on my phone or from the computer if I'm in the office. And I'm always looking at Facebook Marketplace, usually looking for tools and stuff, you know, find some a lot of times if you see a good deal, you gotta pounce on it, you gotta have the money right now ready to go, otherwise somebody will beat you to it. So that's why I'm always looking, like constantly. If I have a few free minutes, I'm looking online for stuff. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. I'll know when I find it. But anyway, was certainly wasn't looking for another mini bike. Found this one, it's a, I don't even know what brand it is. It's, it looks a bit like the, the doodle bug I already have a bit. But it's different. I mean, they're all kind of same. How much variation can there be in a mini bike, right? So it's it's a mini bike frame, forks and wheels, and he has two motors. One of them's missing a carb, he says, and the other's missing an exhaust. Um, they're both Briggs, Briggs and Strat motors. Um, what else was there? Uh, comes with the, the clutch, brand new clutch. Uh, I think he's, he, he bought this as a project himself and either lost interest or didn't know how to finish. So it, it's basically, you know, two engines, a clutch, and a frame and forks and wheels. But I'm sure I should be able to slap together something on this. It's got an interesting rear brake. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have seen it before. I'll show you when I get it, when I get it home. But I'm just getting on the highway right now to head out of town here and go grab it. Certainly don't feel like going anywhere, but it's one of those things. If I would have left it till tomorrow, somebody else would have got it. And, you know, worst comes to worst, I'll, I'll buy it, put it together, and sell it and double my money. The guy only wants a hundred bucks for it. He will actually, he wants 150 and I offered him a hundred without even seeing it. Just, it's kind of my way of talking my way out of buying things is I, I don't like lowball people half of what they're asking, but you know, reasonable lowball. 150 I offered him 100 bucks, kind of expecting him to negotiate, and I was just going to say, no, nah, I don't really need it, never mind, that's okay, thanks anyway. But he accepted my 100 bucks, so kind of committed now. I I'm also, I do a lot of buying and selling on Facebook Marketplace, and one thing I hate is people that say they're going to show up and want to agree to buy something, and then they just ghost you, you never hear from them again. That really sucks, so I, I tend to not do that. If I say I'm gonna buy something, even if I start to have second thoughts, I'll probably still buy it. And if I have to, I'll resell it. I've never lost money buying and selling anything. It just never happened. I usually don't buy something unless it's an extremely good deal. And that way, if I think, well, I didn't really need this, I can still make a little bit of money, at worst break even. So, yeah, I don't know, besides, why? Wow, who doesn't want too many bikes? Holy cow, that sun is bright. Put down my... Of course, the visor doesn't cover the... There we go, it's a little bit better. Anyway. Yeah, who doesn't want too many bikes? It's no fun riding by yourself. It is fun riding by yourself. But it's more fun with someone else. And none of the people I know have mini bikes. So, if I have two mini bikes and a friend, we can go mini biking together. So, there you go. I just gotta find a place to mini bike that I don't have to worry about the cops chasing me. Um, there is another place that's east of town here, about two hours drive, that actually has a whole bunch of trails. It's on what's called Crown Land. It's basically owned by the government of Canada. So it's open for usage and a lot of it's designated as ATV trails. Uh, a lot of people go clotting and dirt biking out there. Don't know how many people go mini biking, but I'm not opposed to being the first. So, yeah, 
It's a beautiful day. It's sunny as you can see. Or a beautiful evening now. Um, but it's chilly. It's like zero degrees out. Got down to minus seven last night. And that's another thing I need to do with this truck. I've never even really checked the antifreeze with my radar detector. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to drain it and you know, maybe even flush it out and do the antifreeze. But, uh, so yeah, that's that, I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. I gotta get the garage ready for winter, you know, get the the summer lawn maintenance stuff put away and get the snow blower out. Um, make enough space so I can still have the uh, garage, the uh, go-kart mini bike mini bikes, plural now, in there, plus fit both cars, so my wife and I can park in there in winter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a pretty busy weekend. Got to finish getting the yard already. We got to start putting away the patio furniture and stuff away. I hate this time of year. It's depressing. But anyway, but I digress. So I'm probably about half an hour away from from my, my destination here. So I'll stop the video here, go pick it up. Uh, maybe I'll talk to you a little bit once I've got it loaded and then I'll pick it up, add on to this video when I get home and s show you guys exactly what I got. So see you in a bit. All right, everyone, here it is. Ta-da. It might not be very good, but at least it's ugly. This is what I'm talking about. What was someone thinking welding that gear on the outside of the axle? That's just the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, I don't know. Bizarre. Truly bizarre. Um, don't know how I'm going to work around that, but I mean, there's obviously enough room in there for it. And that's a pretty thick sprocket. I'm not even sure what size sprocket that is. Um, there's the engine mounting plate, some kind of homemade steely here. Um, welded on some bicycle handlebars, it looks like. Welds aren't terrible, at least. Um, <laughs> brake lever. Um, oh, yeah, this, this is the beauty of it, too. Here's the brake. We had these kind of brakes on the mini bike when I was a kid. And it, all it is is, here, I'll show you from this side, actually. If you look, it goes through, a bar goes through there, and has a plate that when you step on the pedal, it pushes against the tire to stop you. Like that. Those are your brakes. Some kind of strange fiction brakes. These fenders are horrible looking. Those will come off. Um, maybe the back one will stay, but that front one, I don't know. Something needs to be done about that. I might just do some pie cuts and, and bend it to curve it, fit the wheel more. Weld it up and finish it. I think the handlebars definitely got to go. If nothing else, they need to be put on more straight instead of bent back at that angle. It's it's truly an ugly little bike. But the tires and wheels are okay. Let me see the tires. I don't know how this thing's going to corner with these flat tires. But I don't know. That's neither here nor there. Um, the frame is definitely looks homemade, judging by the welds and everything. It's not poorly built. Not totally. It's got some wiring that goes into the frame. Oh yeah, it comes out down there. That would be probably for the kill switch. So that's interesting. I can run hidden wiring on it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a project. That's what that is. So there's the, the mini bike frame, wheels, forks, not much else. The seat's got to go with those handlebars. Something needs to be done. Um, that's easy. That's, that's an easy fix. The front wheel works, um, it, it's, it's a roller, she rolls, there's the, the brake pedal, not sure what I'll do about that, possibly put some disc brakes on it, who knows, uh, but here's the two engines it came with, first one, they're both Briggs and Stratton, here's that one, and he, he claims they both work, this one doesn't have a carburetor or an exhaust, um, but other than that, it's complete. This one is brand new. He says it's never been fired. It doesn't even have oil in it. Uh, and it's a Briggs and Stratton also. And it looks a little bigger than that one. I'm going to guess just by... Like, there's no size. 
on it. Milwaukee, USA, Briggs and Stratton. Um, new number. It's got a Princess Auto gas tank on it. So I don't know what happened to the original gas tank, but let's see. Yeah, it fits. The bolt holes all fit in. These tanks are all kind of standard. So it's basically like a Honda clone. And it has a brand new clutch. Noram Racing clutch. Like literally brand new, never been used. It's missing the, the key out of the keyway in the shaft here. Um, same with that one, that's no problem. You can buy key stock at just about any hardware store should have that. Um, yeah, it's, it's literally never been fired. You can, I stick my finger in the exhaust pipe here and there's not a bit of soot, a little bit of dirt, but no soot, like it's never been run. Interesting choke set up here on the, on the, the carb. Not sure what this engine was intended for. Snowblower maybe, rototiller. Vacuum line here, I don't know what that's for. This should go to the air cleaner. A couple of wires, I don't know what they're for. Um, this piece broke off when I was loading it. It's just some kind of guard that went just like that. There was a mount for the air cleaner, I'm gonna guess. Uh, I don't need it. I'll stick some sort of pot air cleaner on here and, and get rid of this hokiness. But yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's apparently it's a brand new engine. Okay. Works. What about the full start on this one? Yep. It's not, neither of them are seized. They feel like they got compression. So yeah, so now I've got one, two, three non-working engines and one little engine that could. This little 97cc runs like a top. It's just gutless. That was the original doodle bike engine before I put the, the GC190 on it. So yeah, I'll be, like I said, I, out of these three engines, I've got to get at least two of them working. And, you know, one of them to go on that mini bike there. Um, definitely be a winter project. First I'm gonna take it apart. Actually, what I'm going to do first is get it get it moving, get an engine on it, um, do something with this. I'm not sure what. I don't even know what to say about that. That's just bizarre. Um, yeah, get an engine on it, and we'll worry about brakes later. I'll, once I get it functioning, then I'll pretty it up. I'll take everything apart, sand the frame down, paint it. Might do something. This is just ugly. This. 90 degree angle at the back that's just welded and it's functional and it works but it's it's it's, it's ugly so yeah i'll see if i can do something about that um it's not going to win any awards for beauty in it beauty beautiness um but it's big you can see it's bigger than the little doodle bug i don't know maybe there's an awful lot of room in there probably stick like a, I don't know, a 14 horse in there or something. That would be fun. No, the possibilities are endless. But again, like I said, I might just keep it and, and you know, get it running and sell it or trade it, something. We'll see. But anyway, now I'm gonna go for a ride. It's, it's getting dark out and I figured I'd take the doodle bug for a, an evening ride. So I'm gonna strap on my helmet, fire it up, turn the lights on. I did get a tail light mounted on it. It's just a bicycle tail light that straps on. And there we go. That's all you need. As long as someone can see me from behind, I'm good. It doesn't work as a brake light, but it's tail light. It has different modes, flashing mode, fast flashing, and off. So, yeah, okay. Well, I'll end this here and, and go for a quick little ride. Maybe post a video of that on my evening rides and talk to you later. Thanks.